Did you know that one in three adults over the age of 65 takes at least one fall, at least once a year? The loss of balance is something that comes with aging process, and that's why we're talking about it this morning in our house call. Christina Weaver is a physical therapist at Cone Health Neuro Rehabilitation Center, and she joins me now to talk about balance disorders, how you can prevent them and treat them as well. Good morning. Good morning. Um, people, as we, as we age, we tend to have more problems with our balance, mm -hmm. and that happens for many reasons. We sometimes lose some of our muscle strength, we sometimes have more medical problems, so if we're hospitalized, we tend to get weaker. Mm -hmm. We're on a lot of medications, it yeah. increases our risk. And then if you've had a fall, you tend to not be as active because you're afraid you could fall again. So you limit your mobility, and that can lead to worsening problems. So there ah. are some things that we can do to prevent falls as we age. All right, things like what? The biggest thing is that we need to stay active, so we all want to be involved in an exercise program. They found that walking alone does not prevent falls. We need to also do strengthening and balance activities. And that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you a couple of those things that are okay. easy to start with here today. Okay. One of the things that you could do during commercial breaks even is go from sitting to standing. And if you're really good, you don't need your arms on an armrest, you might be able to just do it without using your hands. Great and idea. you're going to feel this in your, your you thighs. You can feel it in your thighs. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Another thing is standing near a chair or some support surface like a countertop. Mm -hmm. You can do raising up on the, the toes right. for strengthening of the calf muscles. That, you can mm -hmm. feel it in your calf muscles. And you then you that. can try this one in your high heels. This okay. might be harder though. Um, standing on one leg okay. and being near a support surface. If you feel steady and safe there, then you can try to let go. There you go. <laughs> Very impressive. Ah. And then also you can do yeah. something where you stand one foot in front of the other. And again, you always want to be safe, so near a support surface, and then try to let go. And you're going to work on your balance in these, in these, with these exercises. And you can feel when you do that, the tightening of your, you know, if you tighten your muscles, you know, in the back of your legs, your hands right. and, and your glutes, you're going to feel it better. Right. You're going to really try to work on some of those, those things. And we need to be able to stand on one leg to go down steps and go up steps and step off curbs. Okay. Well. So exercise is one. What's number two? Mm -hmm. The second one is have your doctor review your medications. So if you're having a problem with your balance or you're worried about falls, Having a lot of medications great can put idea. you at a higher risk. So talk to your doctor or your pharmacist about that. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. The other thing is having your vision checked regularly. So we use our vision for balance. Mm -hmm. And for that, we also use our inner ear and feedback from the ground. So if our vision, if we're not getting good feedback, we might have more of a you know, fall risk as right. we get older. And then the other thing is to check home safety. So we have a lot of factors in all of our homes that might put us at an increased risk for falls. So things like um, having throw rugs that may have edges that curl, right. um, having a lot of clutter on steps or not having good handrails can right. increase your fall risk. And then also doing things like wearing slippers or socks on slippery floors really can, can make that you... don't have the bottoms that are sticky. Yeah. Right. You want to have some, some good traction on the floor and so not increase your fall risk by what you're wearing in the home. I also hear sometimes of... Um, animals causing problems because they want to cross in front of you or around you they get yes, excited they do and I, I had a patient actually just a week ago tell me that she had had a fall when her animals were getting excited about something so that is really important if you have a problem with balance and you know there's certain situations or certain conditions in in the house you can you know put them up while you're trying to get their food ready or yeah. you know baby gate them somewhere so they're not going to create a problem good idea mm -hmm. great information this morning really good thank you we appreciate you for being mm -hmm. here now if you want more information you can always call the Community Resources Senior Line at 333-6981 or Cone Health Neuro Rehabilitation Center at 271-2054.